Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how we can delete a node if only one pointer to that node is given. That is, we are given a pointer to any node in the linked list and we have to delete that node using the given pointer with one condition that the node to be deleted is not the last node in the linked list. Taking this as the basic structure of our node, let's see how we can do it. Suppose this is the linked list given to us with one pointer PTR pointing to the node containing value 4 and we are required to delete this node. So the first thing that comes to mind is we can directly delete this node using pointer PTR. But if we do so, we see that our linked list is broken into two parts. And to join these two parts, we need access to the node containing value 3 so that we can point its link part to the node containing value 5 and rejoin our linked list. But we can't do this as in this particular problem we are not provided with the head or the starting pointer of the linked list, which we require to traverse to the node containing value 3. So let's see how we can actually delete this node. We know that we cannot directly delete the node using the pointer PTR as we don't have the access to its previous node. But we have access to all the nodes that are after this node, that is node 5 and node 7. We can access them easily by traversing through pointer PTR. So what we will do is instead of deleting the node pointed by PTR, we would delete its next node, that is the node containing value 5. But before deleting this node, we would copy its data value into the node pointed by PTR Thus, now we would have two nodes with the same value that is 5. So we will delete this next node and then we can easily adjust our links. So let's do this and side by side we will write the code to understand this in a better way. So we take our function delete node in which we are given only one argument that is the pointer PTR pointing to the node that we have to delete. Now we take another pointer temp and we equate it to the link part of the node pointed by PTR. Thus our pointer temp is now pointing to the next node which contains value 5. Next we will copy its data into its previous node pointed by PTR. Thus our node pointed by PTR now contains value 5. In the next step we will adjust the link part of the node pointed by PTR so that it points to the node containing value 7 by equating the link part of PTR to the link part of 10. Thus, it now points to the node containing value 7. Now in the final step, we can simply delete the node pointed by 10 by freeing the memory allocated to it. Now if we observe using this indirect way, we have successfully deleted the node containing value 4 as well as we have maintained all the links in our linked list. One thing to note here is we cannot delete the last node using this method as it will not have any nodes after it. This was all for this video. Thank you for watching.